Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to the next episode review for Call of the Night, um, episode 10, which I know I'm a little late, which I've been very late on my videos lately. Like, I still have to do my episode 8 9 reviews of Devil's Apart Time Racing Season 2, which I do apologize for that. I'm so late, especially on episode 8, almost two weeks now. Like I said, time, when it comes to time where I went where I'm with my work and all that, I just need to find time. Plus, I was out of town this weekend, this, this previous weekend, so I didn't have time to do that. So, yeah, I got a lot of catch up to do, so I do apologize for that, so, right off right the bat. So, I'll have to, so, after this, I'll have to get to the next episodes of Devil's Part number before the next one comes out, so. Got a lot of, got a lot of catching up to do, so once again, I apologize for that. Well, sometimes, you know, um, when you, when you have so much work to do, and, um, and you just need some time off sometimes. You just need to take a break, you know. So, well, time off from work I'm just referring to. So, yeah, but anyway, getting to that, though. So, but I'll get, but first let's get Call of the Night out of the way. So, episode 10 of Call of the Night, um, which I thought was another very enjoyable episode. Uh, this time where you have uh, one of the other vampires that um, Ko met in that, well, if, if you rewind um, a few episodes back where Ko uh, met with some other female vampires, right? Um, one of them was named Midori, or she was, she was, or was, she was one of the vampires that she was that that uh, that Ko met on that rooftop with other other vampire girls. So she is she's uh, running this like this maid cafe called, coincidentally enough, a vamp cafe, you know, vampire cafe, whatever, as a vamp maid. So she wants to re uh, she hires Nazana to be one of the maids which first of all not seeing Nazana as one of them is in a maid outfit that was just like funny as hell and plus you know how you know how the routine goes for when maids we enter and he's like oh welcome home master or something like that right she just botches it up every time right Nazana's like hey there <laughs> uh, that's it was that's just hilarious so like, <laughs> seeing Nazana in the maid outfit it's just not just not, either not remember the lines or just not caring though, but just going through the motions is like hilarious. So, and and so Ko was like, you know, um, you know, this guy is just like, you know, he's been going through all those like experience, all this stuff that's happening, um, a lot going from ever since the first episode, right? And now he's just in this now he because he now he knows the first time he's in a maid cafe and he's like, oh, the whole thing, oh, the whole master servant thing, right? And when uh, she's approached by this, and he's approached by this other maid, a human one named uh, Ar Arisa, um, like she was like, like the time when she explains that she was like the the the, the, the cutest maid in this cafe until when Midoriya um, uh, took took the number one spot, right? And she explains that you know she likes to for her hobby, she likes to go to other maid cafes, right? And then when um Ko um. Which let's say like, Nazna is being, you know, a pin, not uh, a good maid though, right? And then we see uh, what they lead to another is that uh, they um, they lead to like um, like uh, the other maid Ari saw that they still have this phone with uh, the picture showing pictures up close pictures of her, so they suspect that a peeping Tom is taking pictures of her, you know, a peeping Tom, right? And then all of a sudden, Co goes like old detective work, uh. He's like, he's like playing detective, right? To solve the mystery of who's taking these uh these pervy pictures, right? Of of this of this girl, right? Oh, so, I thought that was enough. Now now, now that he's like, he's like wanted, wanted now want to become a vamp, want to become a vampire himself. Now he's doing a little de do a little detective work on the side here, and. Then uh, well, there's another where eventually him and Midori um, get shoved into a locker, right? And she's very close to the it's a small locker, so they're both pressed against each other. And or before that, they speculate, you know, how these photos get taken because they look very uh, up close, right? So they first they investigate this window that's where in the where the locker there's a locker room and there's a window right where they change, right? So they take like take they take example pictures from outside to see if they can capture like the right shots of the moment where um, Arisa was standing, and and saying that they couldn't get through the door because it would be it would be locked though right and plus the balcony is on a second floor so who could they get up there how can they get up there right and they said they got the right shot moments but the thing is though it doesn't look quite, it doesn't look quite right because the person has to be standing in there you know and. 
and eventually they spec they speculate that. Which I kind I, I kind of had a suspicion though though I, I sort of have like a like in the back of my mind right here I had a slight suspicion that it turns out that which I I was almost well eventually I I'll be right because it was actually Arisa herself she was taking cell photos for herself she had you know one of those um cell phone holders and she, she sticks it in the front of the window and then she takes like sexy pics of herself. She, and the reason why she's doing that because she wants to she puts she she to take these up close sexy pictures of herself like changing and stuff right and put this on uh if it's like a I don't know what the site calls probably a, a version of a Twitter or a Instagram whatever like because like she was like the cutest uh, maid that was working at the cafe till uh, Midori um took the number one spot so she was like trying to make herself cute again trying to be the number one by taking all these up close cute pictures of herself she calls it though but uh but i mean there's no harm done though but there she's like she was she didn't get in trouble or anything but and eventually um and then like uh, cole goes to another cafe i'm not another maid cafe and uh she talk, goes and talks to him saying hey i like to visit other maid cafes it's a hobby right so, I mean, this episode was was just full another a full of a fun, enjoyable, enjoyable, enjoyable moments. You know, like Code just being a little detective. You know, trying to solve this little mystery here, or especially with Nazuna in his maid outfit, she's just not being not being a good maid at all, though. So, it was another it was another fun ep it was another fun episode, I would say. So, and by the next upcoming episode, which. I think thing I think things will get a little bit more serious because because I saw a video I saw a video like last week that at, like after the last episode pr premiere there was like a short video where it introduced this other uh, this woman and which finally enough there she was also in the intro a split second in the intro of the series but only a shadowy fit sil 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 what of the woman because like she's in, like this long coat and smoking a cigarette right. So, so I don't know who the, who this woman is, and she we see her like talking to Ko, or was it Ko or was it Naza? I think it was talking. For sure, she was talking to Ko. So, so I wonder who this woman is. So it's gonna be pretty interesting because, from what I see, her character looks a little bit dark. I would say, maybe it's maybe has too much warp. I mean, but she does kind of look like, like. Not like a Nas now, like a f fun characters like those are all, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see who this woman is. So, but episode ten was another fun, enjoyable, a fun, enjoyable episode. Like I said, Ko, it shows how much Ko has progressed um, ever since episode one. You know, especially you know, just want to become a vampire, doing all these things, you know, going out at night and experiencing all these uh, different things, you know, that's been happening to him, you know, and him just going to a maid cafe and also being shoved in a locker with another vampire uh, with him, being so close to like, press against each other, right? Especially he's you know, like this, you know, because basically the girl's chest is pressed up against his chest, right? <laughs> and at least like, he's doing a little detective war, which is kind of quite, which is very funny, I would say. I mean, Koei's been really been growing as a character throughout the series so far, so. And especially, you know, just him and hand-in-hand -hand with Nazna. As well, so, and as well, uh, some other other fun characters, other fun characters too. Like, see, also seeing the drunk guys, the drunk guys once again. That's always fun. And once again, the animation for the background shots is really well done, stunning, beautiful to look at once again. So yeah, episode ten was another very fun, <laughs> cute. You say cutesy episode because I say cute because you know May Cafe they always do the little cute things you know to win over like you know the whole master servant thing right you know it's like in Maid Sama right which I which I enjoy always enjoyed Maid Sama so yeah but yeah but that's episode ten that was a very fun episode like more it was like a fun character more character fun character moments and and I can't wait and we'll see who that who that woman is in the next episode though so because the way it's going it's definitely going to need a second season the way it's going. It's definitely going to need a second season. It can't just like all this like the uh, episode eleven and twelve. It has to be a, there has to be a second season after this. So there's no way that all this can be finished in just two episodes already. And we're introducing another character as well. So this definitely has to have a, have a second season, no doubt about it. 
By the way, but I will wait on that though. But thanks for watching. Um, this is episode ten of Call of the Night. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. We'll have to then out to get to the F next episode, uh, the next two episodes of Devil's Part Timer. At least just, once again, I apologize for being so late on that though. But what can you do? You know, I try to always fit both of them as I can, but sometimes it doesn't work out all the time. But stay tuned for those, and we'll see you on the next video. Later.